Laughter is a gift. It lightens our hearts and connects us to others. But not all laughter is created equal. Foolish laughter is like a sugary treat, enjoyable for a moment, but ultimately empty. It can even be harmful, like a glass of wine too many. Just as drunkenness clouds our judgment, foolish laughter can blind us to the realities around us. We become lost in the moment, forgetting our responsibilities and commitments. This type of laughter is often loud and boisterous, lacking any real substance or meaning. It's the laughter of someone telling a crude joke, insensitive to those around them. It's the laughter that erupts at another's misfortune, revealing a lack of empathy and compassion. This kind of laughter does not build up, it tears down. It's important to recognize the difference between laughter that uplifts and laughter that demeans. Choose wisely, for the laughter you engage in reflects the state of your heart. When we surrender to senseless merriment, our priorities become skewed. We chase fleeting pleasures while neglecting the things that truly matter. Work is left unfinished, relationships suffer, and personal growth stagnates. The allure of constant amusement can be strong, but a life consumed by frivolous laughter is like a house built on sand. It lacks a strong foundation and crumbles under pressure. True joy is not found in a perpetual state of giddiness. It comes from a sense of purpose, from knowing we are living in alignment with our values. When we are constantly seeking the next laugh, we avoid the quiet moments of reflection that are essential for growth. We must be mindful of how we spend our time and energy. Are we investing in activities that bring lasting fulfillment? Or are we merely distracting ourselves from the important work of life? The answer lies in honest self-reflection. In the quiet moments, when we silence the noise of the world and turn our attention inward, we find clarity. Meditation, even for a few minutes each day, allows us to connect with our inner wisdom. It helps us to discern between what is truly important and what is simply a distraction. Prudence, too, plays a vital role in achieving well-being. It is the ability to make wise choices, to consider the long-term consequences of our actions. A prudent person understands that true happiness is not found in instant gratification, but in the pursuit of meaningful goals. When we cultivate a practice of meditation and prudence, we develop a sense of inner peace that is not easily shaken by the ups and downs of life. We become more resilient, more focused, and more capable of creating a life of purpose and meaning. Life is not meant to be a somber affair. Joy and laughter are essential elements of a fulfilling existence However, they must be balanced with a healthy dose of seriousness. This means approaching our responsibilities with diligence and care. It means taking the time to listen to others, to offer a helping hand, and to make a positive contribution to the world around us. When we are overly focused on amusement, we risk becoming superficial and self-centered. True joy is often found in the midst of hard work in the satisfaction of a job well done. It comes from knowing that we are using our talents and abilities to make a difference.